Steven Spielberg's most personal film, The Fablemans, is out in theaters now. In it, Spielberg addresses the ugliness of anti-Semitism he encountered at a young age. Harry Smith had a chance to talk one-on-one -on -one with the iconic director. Uh, Sergeant, he comes over the hill. He... Steven Spielberg's new film is as close to autobiography as we will likely see. I want to make movies, though. The Fablemans is deeply personal. I've been living with the story uh, my whole life, so this is this is something, I'm a very private person, I would never ordinarily take anything like this public. And shies away from nothing, including a scene where the teenage filmmaker is set upon in high school. Hey, new kid, what's your name? Sam? Sam, what? Fable man. Told you he's a He doesn't like Jews. <laughs> Nobody likes Jews. <laughs> Except other Jews, right? Well, I don't think there hasn't been a year where there hasn't been anti-Semitism in this country throughout the world. I've been aware of it my whole life because I was certainly the subject of anti-Semitic bullying. Incidents of anti-Semitism are up. The ADL reports 2021 had the highest level of anti-Semitic events since they started keeping track 50 years ago. I don't remember a time in my 75 years that it's been as bad as, it, as it's gotten. But were it ever thus, one of his most powerful films laid waste to a lie, Holocaust denial. The list is an absolute good. The list is life. One of the things that motivated me to do Schindler's List, because I had the book for 10 years before I actually directed the movie, was this rise of Holocaust den den denials. Anti-Semitism is as ancient as the Inquisition, as current as yesterday's news. Kanye West's Twitter and Instagram accounts have been locked because of anti-Semitic posts. After his recent offensive comments about Jewish people. How, we wondered, could it be drawn down? What's the answer? But there's nothing we can really do in our culture that, to really move the needle. What is going to move the needle is people of opposing views and ideologies to get together into a room and start having civilized conversation with each other. You know, the only thing that is the only real treatment for this sickness is conversation. And, and I've always believed that. And I think that is really the only cure. No doubt, it's up to us to start the conversation. Harry Smith, NBC News, Los Angeles. When we come back on this Thanksgiving, the power of food to help us heal.